Okay, so this is an example of what your final logo is going to look like. Um, you're going to draw it twice, and that'll show me whether or not you know how to use the drawing tools. Um, and you can see on, the, on this example here, the one on the left is going to be black and white. The one on the right is going to be um, black, white, and up to two additional colors. In this case, we've got orange and red. Now on the left, um, you might shade something in black, but that doesn't mean that on the right you have to shade it in black as well. So you can see how this edge of this R is red on this one, but it's black over here. Um, these little marks here on the sides of the, or the corners of the logos, you can see where uh, this person has filled those in black on both logos. But each logo, the coloring is independent. You don't have to do the same things on both sides. The outlines need to be the same though to show me that you've uh, learned how to use the drawing tools, okay? So the paper that you'll use is this paper here, and it'll be on the bottom uh, of the stacks of papers over there, okay? And it's actually a pretty nice looking uh, mar marker paper, uh, but the big thing to remember with this paper is that it's, it's a one-sided paper. Uh, I can't draw on both sides of this. So you'll see this pad laid out and opened up like this, and before you pull out a piece of paper, what you're going to need to do is uh, sign the lower right-hand corner. Put your name on it. Okay, so there is my name. And the reason why you do that is because that will tell me which side I'm supposed to draw on. Okay, so now I'm ready to pull this out. And this side of the paper is the side that I'll actually draw on. Now I'm not going to draw a complete logo here, I'm just going to draw a couple of circles so you can see um, how the coloring works. Okay. So on the left, I'm going to try and center it the best I can. I'm not going to ask you to you know, use a ruler and completely mathematically center this on the paper. Just center it the best that you can. Draw your logo, which will take much more time than I just took to draw one little circle and then uh, draw your logo on the left side. You're tracing again. This is tracing paper. It's pretty thin. You can use the dots of tape to hold it down. You're tracing your best practice uh, from the practice drawings because that's the one that looks the best and that's the one that works with the drawing tools the best. So you'll trace your best practice at this point. So once you've drawn the logo twice, and this is all I'm going to draw is circles, uh, you're going to have black and white on the left and a color logo on the right. To shade in your black areas on the left, you're going to use the Sharpie marker out of your drawing pack. Okay, That way everybody's going to be shading black, so we've got plenty of black markers around the room. Now I gave you a double-sided Sharpie marker on purpose. Okay, There's a skinny end and there's a chunky end. Okay, We're going to start with the skinny end and I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, We're going to start with the skinny end uh, right around the edges. And I'm not going to start right up on the edge. I'm going to work my way toward the edge of the shape I'm trying to color in. And I'm going to use just short little strokes with my marker all the way around to kind of build up a little bit of a thick border. Okay? And I'm not going to color the whole thing for you. That'll take too much time. And then I can switch to the fat end of the Sharpie marker. And because I've built up a nice thick border, uh, I don't have to worry about getting too close. The danger of getting too close to the edges with the, the thick end of the marker is that you bleed over. And of course, you want to stay, in, stay inside the lines. OK, so I'm going to make my brush strokes uh, a little bit longer this time. Um, and I try to overlap them a little bit so I don't see any streaks. But you can see that the Sharpie does a pretty good job of just making a nice, rich fill um, where you don't see a lot of brush strokes. Nonetheless, I want to try and go in one direction as much as possible um, so it doesn't look you know, sloppy and all over the place. Okay? Coloring in then with the color marker is essentially the same. We have these Copic markers. Um, they'll be here in the classroom. You won't have those to check out like your drawing packs. Um, but they have two ends. There's a skinny end and there's a fatter end, the chisel tip end. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to start with the skinny end, start kind of away from the edge, and then work your way to the edge. 
Now, if you go over the top of your ink with these color markers, uh, the ink actually gets thicker and it gets a little bit darker. Um, so you want to try to limit going back over something more than once. You want to have a nice, consistent, even appearance. Okay. So I'm going to take my fat end now and I'm going to go back over it and I might just do back and forth, forth brush strokes again one direction. Okay, and I can fill an area pretty quickly. Um, now if, you, if you're not liking how you can see the border area, um, you can always go back over this and try to get a consistent appearance. And eventually it'll kind of uh, peak and you'll get the same darkness all the way across after going over a couple of times. Okay, so that's pretty consistent. Zoomed in like this you can see uh, a little bit of that border area, um, but you can watch it dry there on the screen. Um, but it's a nice rich thick uh, area of ink. It's not uh, streaky at all. Um, I don't see the brush strokes at all. Everything is um, just looking nice all together. Okay? So just to review, this is what your logos were, will look like, where you have a black and white logo, zooming in the wrong way there, black and white logo on the left, color logo on the right, uh, both extremely well drawn, both drawn with drawing tools, both drawn with pen. Um, no reason to do pencil at this point, just go straight to your pen. It goes onto the paper in uh, the Copic drawing pads. Make sure you write your name in the lower right hand, lower right hand corner as soon as you get the paper so you know that you're always drawing on the correct side.